hate sports day. It's pointless. And you have to wear shorts. Breakfast ready. And I never win anything. Hungry. Uh -oh. <laughs> I hate butterflies too. Oh, I'm so proud of my little athlete. I just know you're going to win that egg and spoon trophy again. Whoa, whoa. Oh, poor Henry. Oh, oh well, I expect oh. you'll live. I don't think I can go to school today, Mum. I've got the most terrible tummy ache. I think I might have to go to hospital. Oh dear. I hope they won't need to operate. Operate? <laughs> Henry, we both know you haven't really got tummy ache. You're just pretending so you can get out of sports day. Don't worry, Henry. It doesn't matter if you come last in everything again. Huh? And don't even think about getting sent home like last year. Miss Lovely says it's not winning that counts, it's how you play the game. Don't be horrid, Henry! There, Peter. Your egg and spoon race eggs are done. Now, let's comb your hair. You've got to look your best when you receive your trophy. <laughs> Genius! <laughs> Switch the bed for you, Henry. I've been in training for the 400 metres and my dad hasn't let me eat any sweets for a month. No sweets for a month? That's impossible! Not if you've got the willpower. Oh, yeah. Mmm, this yummy, gummy fuzzball is so delicious. Oh, yummy, gummy. Oh, they're my fave. Mmm, are you sure you won't have one? Oh. Oh. Take your places for the three-legged race. The three-legged race is about to begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I, um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up. It's about to start. <laughs> On your mark. I'm in charge, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get set! No, I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. Uh, this way! No! This way! Ow! 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 Oh, oh. This is more like it! Henry! Oh, Henry! Ow. Stop Ow. that at once! Ow. See, Margaret, I told you we wouldn't win. That's it. This race is cancelled. Oh, and Henry, you horrid child. If you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong. You are here all day. The rest of you, follow me! <sighs> You'll pay for this, Henry! That's the trouble with sports day. Brings out the worst in people. <sighs> Don't worry, Ted. The eggs are hard-boiled. <laughs> it's so easy being me! I'm Henry. That's right, what? I bet she eats elephants for breakfast. What have you got to eat? Um, help.
help yourself to anything in the fridge. Um, bedtime is nine o'clock, and uh, remember, Henry, don't be horrid! So you're the one known as Orrid Henry. <laughs> and you're the one known as Rabid Rebecca. And I'm the one known as Perfect Peter. And I know we're all going to have a good time. <laughs> Good's good. I like good. <laughs> I expect good. I demand good. Are we clear? Uh, uh, that's lucky. I'm really good at being good. But it'll be difficult for you. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Take back, you miserable, maladjusted, malicious, malevolent mutant! Hey! I was watching Mutant Max! Would you care for some refreshments? <sniffs> popcorn! I hate popcorn! Oh, uh, sorry, my mistake. I should have checked first. Oh, I love ballroom dancing. What's your favourite? The foxtrot? The, the tango? Get lost. Shut up! Henry, you're doing it all wrong. It's more of a cha 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 than a do 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 da. Get out of my way! You can both go to bed right now. But it's not my bedtime for hours. I thought we could all have a nice game of Chinese checkers before bedtime. Oh, OK. If you don't like that, how about Tiddlywinks? We're playing hide and seek. You both hide, and if I find you... You'll be wishing I hadn't. Oh, oh, oh. Patsy, I'm hiding in the cupboard under the stairs. Aren't you going to hide? Not from rabid Rebecca, I'm not. I've beaten all the other babysitters in town, and I'm not going to lose this time. Let the games begin! Don't worry, son. We'll have a squad car over there in no time. Now, what's this intruder look like? Ten feet tall, teeth the size of icebergs, and she's watching our TV right now! But that's Rebecca. She's not an intruder. was the intruder and took her away. Does that mean I win hide-and-seek? No. You most definitely haven't won hide-and-seek. Intruder, am I? Ten feet tall, am I? Teeth like icebergs, have I? Uh, it wasn't my idea. I think you're very uh, charming. Get to bed. You have five seconds. One. Run! Five! Don't even think of moving from that bed or you'll be sorry you were born! It's so easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry! It'll be fine, it'll be fine. be really, really fine. Henry, not that one! Oh! This is not a good start, Henry. Nowhere near good. 
You've already been horrid and we're not even at my desk yet. But Dad, we're being cut out by firefighters! This is great! An office is a place where people come to work, not to muck about. I want perfect behaviour. My boss is very strict, so don't let me down, eh? Dad, you can count on me. Oh! Ow! You're late. Bad start. Bob knows best and late people aren't great people. Sorry, Bob, sir. I, um, hit the alarm button by accident. Dad just told a fib. Hmm. This is just like school. Henry, this is Bob, my boss. And you have to do everything he tells you. And this is Bill, his son. And you have to do what I say too. Welcome to my brush and paste empire, young Henry. We aim to have a foaming brush in every mouth in the land. So, take this day by the scruff of the neck, little laddie. Listen and learn. And one day you too could take orders from me. I'll try my best, sir, Bob, sir. I, I promise to listen and learn. I like you, young Henry. I wish more young men wanted to be like me. Tell you what, you can be my son's partner for the day. Whoa. I expect my boy Bill to take toothpaste into the future. Watch him like a hawk, Henry. My boy is the future. You heard Bob, Sir Henry. Do everything he says and everything Bill says. Yes, sir, a Bob, sir. Meeting in the boardroom in five. All hands on deck. First task, boys, make the tea, serve the tea. And remember, I could be watching you. Remember, Henry, do everything they say. Oh, we have to make all these. Are you kidding? I got better things to do than listen to Dad give orders. Great! What will we do instead? You don't get it, do you? You make the tea, I watch you. No way! If you don't do what I say, my dad will fire your dad. So get making, Bucket Brain. Good. Now I order you to put this stuff in the tea. Remember, do everything he says. Well, if that's an order. Well done. Lovely tea, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Henry. <laughs> this tea's been tampered with. Who did this? It was Henry, Dad. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. But he told me to! And you said I had to do everything he told me to do! No excuses! You should keep your son under more control! You need to learn what hard work is, Henry. I want you both down in the packing department now! I'll get you for this, snot brain! No, you won't, because my dad is a boss and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you better help or I'll quit! Dead or not, you'll get into trouble again. And you're not working fast enough. Ah, look at that. Dad hates to waste toothpaste more than anything. He's gonna be really angry. Gotcha! <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. I tried to stop him, Dad, but he won't listen to me. <gasps> it's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Need more pocket money. <gasps> oh, 50p a week is quite enough, Henry. I'm very happy with my pocket money. I always save loads. You could learn a lot from Peter, Henry. <laughs> Henry! No pocket money for a week. What? No! I need a new castle! You 
you'll have to save up then, won't you? But, but how can I save money if you're not giving me any? You could earn it. <laughs> earn it? Oh, get off, Henry! Broken. Burst. A chess set? What were they thinking? I need more things! Hmm, you look lonely. Come with Henry. Oh, smells like a baby's bum! Uh, I don't know. How much have you made so far? 37p. You're wasting the smell! Hitting a sign, Henry. Nothing gets past you, does it, Al? All money raised goes to a very good cause. Child in need. When I'm king, I'll have a pair of rooter toots for every day of the year. Henry, that's Mum's special perfume. Oh, she's got loads of bottles. She'll never miss one. That's ten pounds. Hmm, I'll give you one. Done. That's Dad's tennis racket. Oh, stop moaning! You Eureka! That's it! Would you like to earn some money, Peter? How? I'll give you 10p. Is that all? All right. 10p a day. That'd be 20p for the weekend. Hmm, I suppose it would help my savings plan. All right, I'll do it. Great! Why do I only get 20p if Ralph gave you £1.50? The uh, expenses. Now run along. Amazing! After I've paid Peter, I'll have £2.67. I'm on to something here. Welcome to King Henry's, the largest chain of superstores in the world. Henry, have you seen my big bottle of perfume? No. Uh, I mean, what, what bottle of perfume? I thought she'd never notice. And where's Peter? He's not in his room. I gave it to Ralph. Well, you go round to Ralph's right now and get him back, you horrid boy. But I don't want him back. Henry, go and get your brother back right now. When I'm king, parents won't be allowed to have any pocket money. Henry! Mum says I've got to get Peter back. Uh, no. Yeah. Huh? With Margaret. Margaret's house? Oh, no. When I'm king, I said to death my pocket Peter! Peanuts! Now! Faster! <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot! Yeah, idiot. Sorry, Margaret. <sighs> well, we don't want them now. You've tossed them all around the countryside. Go and get some drinks. And don't spill a drop or I'll make you wish you'd never been born. <sighs> yeah, never been born. Henry, have you come to rescue me? Uh, no. God, please, I'll do anything. You can keep the 20p. I'll pay you 50, a pound. She's horrible, nearly as bad as you. <laughs> Come back, I'll give you all my money. All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, Henry. Where's my drink? understand anything important. Morning, Henry! Ah! <laughs> oh, my bag! That's mine! Oh, thank you, you 
young man. Grown-ups. <gasps> and with 15 seconds to go, Henry rakes across the pitch. Surely he can't score from that distance. It's crazy. It's impossible. He's done it. It's in. Henry scores the winning goal. Some tickets. 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 Now listen, class. We've been lucky enough to be given two tickets for the Ashton Athletic Manchester United match. Me! 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 Quiet. I have decided that the class will play a football match at lunchtime. Margaret and Al will be captains, and the player of the match will get the tickets. But who decides who's player of the match? Me, Henry. And my decision is final. No way, Henry. I'm not going to let you score just so that you can be player of the match. Why not? You're Moody Margaret's goalkeeper. It'll be easy. Yeah, but how can I be player of the match if I let you score? Don't be stupid. We all know who the best player is going to be. Have you decided who you're going to take with you, Margaret? Nope. I'll decide later. See? We haven't got a chance. But if I let you score, it'll be cheating. Come along, children. Take your positions. Just remember rule number seven of the Purple Hand Gang. Members must always obey the Lord High Excellent Majesty. That's me. But... And if I do win, I'll obviously return the favour. You mean you'll take me? You see, Ralph, it's not so hard, is it? Right, children. Everyone ready? Graceful. Football is supposed to be a team sport, not a pack of hooligans with no respect for the rules. Oh, let's try again, shall we? Oh, Henry! <laughs> <sighs> Why didn't you pass the ball to me? Uh, have you decided who you're taking to the game yet? All right, I'll take you! Team. One nil. Ha! We'll see about that. Gorinda! Over here! Uh... To my Henry! No way! Kai! We're on the same side! See any bird? Bird? Why didn't you try to save it? Uh, I don't know. Two one to Margaret's team. One minute to go. Right. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. What should I do? To me! To me! Mum and Dad, their juice. But I always.
Please take them their juice. Too late, Slowcoach. Oh, you haven't put something horrible in it, have you, Henry? No. Open the door. Oh, I can take it in for you. No, let go. <laughs> oh, don't be horrid, Henry. Go and get something to clear up this mess. Hey? Can I come with you, Dad? I love going to the supermarket. Of course you can, Peter. Out, Henry! That's not fair! You're taking Peter! Why can't I come? Because I remember the last time you came shopping. I'll be good, I promise. I just want to help. Please? Cucumber, tomatoes, salad. Dad said I could push the trolley. You did it last time. Dad! Henry's being mean! Don't be horrid, Henry. It's OK. Peter can push. I don't care what... What did you say? Peter can push the trolley. I don't mind. Are you feeling OK, Henry? Fine, thank you. Um, well... Well done. Well done, then. Being good is really hard work. Hmm. I don't know. How about leek and broccoli? Um, yes, but Mum likes spicy parsnip. Fine. Henry... We need baked beans. I know where they are, Dad. It's OK. I'm on to it. <gasps> this has possibilities. <gasps> Henry, don't. Oops, nearly forgot. Henry? What are you doing? Get down from there. It's OK, Dad. I've got it. Oh, I've got the baked beans, Dad. Lunchtime. Peter, can you...? Lay the table. Yes, please. Why can't I do it? Well, I want to lay the table. All right, Henry, but don't break anything. Hi, all. Please lay the table. Let go! You let go. OK, have it your way. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. What a good boy you are. Henry, sit up properly. I am sitting up properly. Oh, so you are. Well, don't slurp your food. I'm not slurping. I've eaten all my carrots. Good heavens. Henry, what a good boy. Oh, I've eaten all my carrots too. Mm. Ow! Peter kicked me! Peter? you're doing. You're only being good so you can go to the fair, but it won't work, so there. Oh, no? No, because sooner or later you'll do something horrid. You always do, smelly. I forgive you. Mum, can I do some gardening? You? Why? To be helpful, of course. Well, um, there is one job needs doing. It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. Come on, Mum. Don't let me down. Pick these toys up, Henry. Someone could hurt themselves. How did she know I was...
was here. Yes! Did you get everything for tea? No! No funny disaster! No 200 pounds! Not much time left! What am I going to do now? Why can't I play on my happy hopper instead? Because it won't look as funny. But I mean good. Mum and Dad will love seeing their little Peter playing in the garden. And action. Woohoo! I did it! I did it! That wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to snap. Whoa! Oh. <coughs> Mum and Dad will be so proud that their little angel has learned to ride his bike. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Of course you can. Come on, Worm. Just think of the proud look on Mum and Dad's faces. And action. Are you okay? <gasps> Do I look okay? <laughs> You're okay. Now, both of you, clean yourselves up. Cousin Polly will be here any minute for tea. Woo! Goody! Brissy Polly? Tea? That's it! <laughs> what are the funniest disasters on Laugh Till It Hurts? The ones with food, of course! of you, Henry, to record Polly's visit? Well, she is my favourite cousin. Ah, she's here. to do a video of your visit. Isn't that sweet? Oh! And I haven't even had my hair done! <laughs> Action! <gasps> there! Ooh, isn't this exciting? <laughs> Just keep coming this way. One, it is so two, lovely to be here with my uncle three, and my aunt and my adorable four, little cousins. Five! <laughs> Second-hand jumper you're wearing. 
At least it's not green like yours. This isn't green. Mum, he's got a goo shooter. Give me that. While you're a guest in my house, you will behave yourself. I won't put up with any mischief. Ow! Get it off! Get it off! I don't know how that got in there. Sorry, Aunt Ruby. Show him to his room. I've put all my toys in my room, and you're not allowed to touch them. You're up here, in the attic. <laughs> I bet you're scared of the dark. Of course not. Good, because this room is haunted. <laughs> It'll take more than a silly ghost to scare me. I love ghosts. Ah! You see that stain? That's where the ghost vaporized. <laughs> Pah! Of course, if you're too scared to sleep here, Maybe the ghost will let me play with his toys. You better hope so, because up here, no one will hear you scream. <laughs> I'm Henry. Am I scared? It was a night like this when the ghost first appeared. Uh, you mean this really is a haunted house? Oh, don't be silly, Steve. That's just a story. We've never seen the ghost ourselves. Ah! Oh, dear. Not another power cut. Spooky, eh? Go on, Mum. Tell him the story. Legend has it that the house was built by a rich old man to hoard his gold. He had dozens of servants waiting on him hand and foot. But he was scared they would steal his gold. So one night, he sneaked out and buried it in the wood. He built secret passages in the house so the servants wouldn't see him creeping out at night to check on his gold. But one night, it was so dark, he couldn't see where he was going. And he stumbled into the well and drowned. It's his ghost that wanders the house, searching for his gold. Ah! Huh? Yeah, well, serves him right. With all that money, he should have bought a torch. <sighs> That's enough silly stories. It's time you boys went to bed. Everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. There's something in the wardrobe. Just waiting to get me. Don't be a scaredy cat, Henry. You're not afraid of anything. Except injections. Remember what Dad 
says, a penny saved is a penny earned. Don't be hurried, Henry. Untidy your room, now. Oh, I need money, and I need it fast. I'm in charge because it's my garden. You're being fairy godmother. Oh, but I want to be the Wicked Witch. No, I'm the Wicked Witch. No. Oh. Maybe I could sell my Mean Monster comic collection to Moody Margaret. some of Peter's money. Club more like. Fang Mangler's Revenge. <laughs> Wouldn't catch them reading this. Eureka! That's it! <laughs> and I kept my room tidy all week. Hey, you can't just come in here. We just have. You need to know the password. Vitamins. Uh, how did you know? I know lots of things. I even know where to find a fang mangler. <gasps> a fang mangler? Uh, what is a fang mangler exactly? It's slimy, it's scary, it's horrible, and it's out there. Where? At night they hide in the shadows and then they leap out of the bushes. <laughs> Only once. Oh. <gasps> oh, I've never even heard of a fang mangler. I want to see one. I want to see one too. Is this a trick, Henry? Of course it's not. And just for that, I won't let you come. Wait! Please, Henry. Please, can I come too? <sighs> All right then. But it'll cost you two pounds. Two pounds? Each. <gasps> but, but, but... Well, if you don't want to see the fang mangler... We we do. Do. We'll, we'll pay! We'll pay! We'll pay. <laughs> Meet me outside the garden shed, six o'clock sharp. And remember, no money, no monster. <laughs>
Margaret. I don't like sprouts and I like my corn off the cob. Fine, give it to me. And put the corn on a separate plate. I don't like vegetables touching my meat. Yeah, and put Margaret in a separate room. I don't like looking at her. Oh. Ouch! Henry kicked me. No, I didn't. This is so embarrassing. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. When I'm king, I'll show Moody Margaret who's... who's... king. Henry, stop playing with your food. <gasps> Henry? You've already lost your pocket money for one month, Henry. We can make it two if you don't start behaving now. Good night, Bunny. Good night, Bunny. Oh, yuck! <laughs> Margaret! Ah, get it all! Margaret did this, Peter. Why don't you tell Mum and get Margaret into trouble for a change? Tell my guest. I couldn't. It's bad manners. Bad manners? You're a wormy worm. She's in there snooping through all my stuff. You Rico! That's it! Yes! Margaret is our guest. If she wants to snoop, then it's my duty to make it easier for her. Tomorrow is going to be the return of Henry. <laughs> What? Stop it! Stop it at once! Oh, for goodness sake, it's six o'clock in the morning. I always wake up at six o'clock and I always practice before breakfast. Fine. Then let's go downstairs and I'll make you breakfast right now. All clear. Operation Bye Bye Margaret is a go! Ugh! Girl stuff! In my room! Hey! What are you doing? Nothing! Um, nothing. I'm, uh, I'm just writing in my diary. Diary? Oh, I didn't know you had a diary. It's secret. My secret thoughts. Not to be read by the likes of you, which is why I keep it in this box, which I lock with this key. And that's where it stays. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have teeth to clean. Once a snoop, always a snoop. <laughs> Dear Diary, I'm really, really worried that she's going to put Peter in the rubbish bin. Hmm. Peter would never tell on a guest, so I'd be blamed and really, really punished. <laughs> My life would be over and it had all be Margaret's fault. <gasps> When I said your wish is my command, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Uh, what are you going to do? Tell? I could never tell on a guest. Huh, good. Watch your fingers. Oh, over here. Don't forget this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Henry's going to get it. Oh. <laughs> Operation Bye Bye Margaret, phase two. Email sent. Henry, have you seen Peter? Yes. He's gone to live at the dump because he's rubbish. <gasps> Peter! 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 It's so easy being me. I'm horrible, Henry. What's the car for? The park's just down the road. Wait.
we're going for a proper hike in the countryside. The countryside? No! We could get chased by chickens! Man-eating chickens! <laughs> <laughs> Can't we just go round the block? N-O spells no, Henry. Well, I'm telling you, you'll be sorry. <laughs> we should have listened to Henry. <laughs> Who'd have thought man-eating chickens would eat our darling, Henry? I'll never eat an omelette again. <laughs> Henry! In! No, I live in the city. I'm not going. Come back here. Now, do your seatbelt up and try to behave. Oh, look! A wood pigeon! Let's go, Henry. You can't make me. Fine. But each step I take is 5p off your pocket money until you catch up. 5p off, 10p off, 15p off, 20p off. Oh, I'm missing a rapper's up a marathon for this. Smell as manure. Couldn't you wait, Peter? No! Henry called me smelly! Don't be horrid, Henry. Come on, Henry. Why don't you help Peter find something for his nature project? Right! Um, but that's a wasp's nest. They sting you, don't they? Uh, not if you sing to them. No one else will have one. You'll get top marks. Easy. Oh. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, tourne et vous. Sing, Peter, sing! Sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines. Peter, come away from that wasp's nest. It's all right, Dad. I'm singing to them. Henry said they won't sting. Sonnez les matines. Peter, stop. Of course they'll sting. Come down now. How could you be so horrid, Henry? Well, Dad said to help him find something for his nature project, so I did. Something safe! Oh, well, he should have been more specific. Oh. Come on, Henry! You breaker! That's it! The sooner we get to the stupid lake, the sooner I go home to watch Rapper Zapper! Come on! This fun! <laughs> That's the spirit, Henry. Whee! Let's find the lake! Oh! 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 Stinging nettles! Oh! 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 Come on, so goat! Last one to the lake is rubbish! There it is! I see it! I see the lake! There's a shortcut! Come on! I knew he'd enjoy our hike. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, Oh, they've slowed down. I knew they would. Good thing I doubled back. Ding dang dong, ding dang dong. I'm missing Rapper Zappa. How am I going to get them to hurry up? All right. Blue. Green! Uh, yeah. 
yellow. Bert? Uh, I don't know. It's black, like a hole in your brain. <laughs> what gizmo did you get? Um, actually, I got silver. <gasps> no way! <laughs> That's nothing. I got gold. Never! You're so lucky. Is it beautiful? Can we see it? Wow! A boy with a gold gizmo could do anything! Where is it? 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 Uh, it's at home. I don't want to bring it to school, do I? It might get stolen. My lunchbox was stolen once. Rubbish! You haven't got a gold gizmo, Henry, and you know it! If you had one, you'd be showing it off. Come on, Henry, show us! 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 OK, OK. Tomorrow. And you're all going to look pretty stupid when you see it. We'll be waiting. Hmm. This is going to take something mega clever. Chess set? Marbles? Ugh. Coin collection? What are you doing? Just seeing what I want when you're gone. I'm really sorry about the gold gizmo. Why? Everybody wants a gold one. But what about the curse? What curse? It's been in all the papers. Every single person who's got a gold gizmo dies a horrible death. That's not true! It is. Didn't you see about that girl? She got a gold gizmo and she fell down the toilet and drowned. <coughs> then there was the boy who was out with his gold gizmo and his dog. And they fell right into a pit of molten lava. And all because of the curse of the gold gizmo. Oh, no! I saw it! The giant flying curse bird of tragedy! It's a sign that you are doomed. I am not doomed. Ah! 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 I'm doomed! Ah! Ah! I don't want to die! <laughs> well, if you give the gold gizmo to someone else, the curse passes to them. I suppose I could take the risk. I know you'd risk your life for me. Henry, you're the best brother in the world. <laughs> Easy peasy. <clears throat> Margaret's here, Lord High Majesty. I can't wait till tomorrow. If you really have got one, I want to see it. Now! Uh, Peter, I'll have some crisps, some chocolate, and then even more chocolate. Right away! My big brother's so brave! Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, where is it? <gasps> it's beautiful. I want it. No way! A gold gizmo is everything! I'm not giving it up. I'll get you a double drencher. A 3,000? If you like. Brand new? In the box. You're on. Tomorrow? At school. Be there. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. Just for a double drench of 3,000, I want a better offer. On Monday, you can all bring your best swaps and I'll see if any are good enough. 